Hello and welcome to another video on how to use Mobilock Pro for your EMM devices. Now, starting Android 8, EMM is mandatory and all your devices need to be enrolled using Android for work. To do that, first click on EMM, click on Android. If you're coming here for the first time, you will see a request access page. Once you get the request access page, click on request access, give your company credentials and click on next. Once you get the access, you will see this page. I have already done that and hence I see this page. Once you are at this page, click on configure Android. Once you click on configure Android, you will be taken to the Google sign up page. We would require a valid Gmail ID to go along with Android for work. Click on sign in. Choose the account that you want to sign in with. Please make sure that you don't choose your corporate ID but a freshly created email ID for your organization. Enter the password and username. Click on next. Once you click on next, it will redirect you back. And here you have to click on get started. Enter your company's name once again. Click on next. Here, it will ask you for the DPO or the Data Protection Officer information. If you are not doing business in Euro European Unions, you can ignore this. Click on I have read and click on confirm. Once you confirm, it will take you to the complete registration page. Now you are ready, click on complete registration. It will take you back to the dashboard and will give you all the information that you have activated Android for work. Now from here, the next steps are on the devices. This completes the dashboard process. Remember, you can use this only on devices which are factory reset or fresh devices. That is, fresh out of the box devices. I will show you how to register a device. Please take a device that is freshly factory reset or is completely new and switch on the device. Let me bring up my device screen. Here, I'm bringing up my device screen. I'm screening my device, so yeah. Give me a minute here. So as you can see, I've freshly started the device and I see the get started screen. Choose your country and click on get started. Click on setup as a new device. Please note that giving a Wi-Fi is very important because the entire process takes around 30 minutes and it is very important to have a solid internet connection. So please configure a Wi-Fi. I'm going ahead and trying to connect to the local network here, to the local Wi-Fi network here. Make sure that you connect to a proper Wi-Fi network before going ahead. Let me just do that. Now it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. Once it's connect to the Wi-Fi, it will take you to some screens which are uh, kind of uh, ready for the onboarding of the device. Click on next. Please note that the, the screens might change from OEM to OEM or device to device. But the important step is at this screen. Where you enter your Gmail, instead of your Gmail, enter AFW hash mobilog. Remember, AFW hash mobilog. This is a very important step to set up and complete the EMM setup on the device. Click on AFW hash mobile lock and click on next. Once you click on next, it will try to reach the Play Store and download the mobile lock client. Before that, it might give you some agreements to agree to. As you can see, now it's trying to download the mobile lock pro client. Click on install. Wait for the download to complete and then finish the installation. As you can see, now it's showing the permissions. Click on next, install. Once it is successfully installed, it should open up the Mobilock home screen. Again, this is my temporary video, so I'll relaunch it. As you can see, it's loading up the Mobilock home screen. Now, at this point, you can either verify the license key or log in or register. I'll click on login or register.
I'll click on I already have an account. Please remember the most important step here is to not exit Mobilog before the setup completes. Once again, do not exit the Mobilog client before the setup completes. Because if you exit, you have to do everything again. I have entered my credentials. I clicked on sign in. It's a little difficult typing while it's on video, so just give me a minute here. So give the device a name like you normally do. It will take you to the permissions page. Note that all of the permissions are required. Do not exit Mobilog client. Do not exit Mobilog client. I have given the usage stats now. I will go ahead and give the notifications permissions as well on this device. Now comes the device owner step. This is very important. You need to make Mobilog the device owner so that we can perform all the enhanced actions that are supported by EMM. This is the device owner consent screen. Note that this might be a little different coming to device to device. I have used a Motorola so this is the screen how it looks. It might be different on your screen or on your device but give this permission of device owner complete this step. Click on OK. Once you click on OK you should be taken back to the permission screen. Now you can complete the AFW setup. Again, once you click on complete AFW setup, the device might crash. It is expected. It is a Google bug that the app will crash. Now you will be shown some OEM specific screens and depending upon device to device, it might change. I'll choose to skip setting the fingerprint for now. I'll go ahead. These are all device specific screens and this will take us to the home screen. So this might be different on your device. So don't worry, just go on and complete the process. Now, once you land on the home screen, either after the crash or like this, just launch the launcher and click on Mobilog Pro icon. Once you click on Mobilog Pro icon, click on complete setup again. Once you click on complete setup, the device will boot into Mobilog and from this point, it takes around 15 to 20 minutes to complete the setup. At any point, you can check the status in diagnostics to know what's the status of the setup. You can click on three dots and click on diagnostics. I'll just show, show that to you in a while. Click on menu and diagnostics. If you scroll down, you will see an AFW card. In that AFW card, it shows you that it's preparing for environment. Once the environment is prepared, it will add the device and once the device is added, it will show on the dashboard with a briefcase icon. Once the device is shown on the dashboard with a briefcase icon, it is EMM managed and you can do everything that you want with that device. If I click on this device, as you can see, the still device is still being prepared. It shows EMM managed as no. But after 15 minutes, this EMM managed device will become as yes. And from this point, you can apply or use the dashboard like you always do. Hope this video is helpful. Thank you.